about to start off with the girls. Four by 100 meter relay, we got E.G. Hayes, Marshall County, Winburn, Barrett, Paducah, Jefferson County Traditional, Murray, Westport, and Noah. State record is 52.33. Fastest seat time is 52.31 by Paducah and a 52.69 by Jefferson County Traditional. Jefferson County Traditional won in the 4x2, so it's going to be the grudge match in the uh, sprint relays between Paducah and Tra Jefferson County Traditional. Again, 52.33 is the state record and 52.31 is the fastest seat time. So we may see a school record or a state record broken. State record from 2010 set by North Harden. And they're off. Approaching the first exchange, it's looking like uh, Murray or uh, Johnson in the lead. Jefferson. Looks like Jefferson still has got the advantage as we approach the next exchange. In about 26 seconds, 26 seconds for the second exchange. That's Jefferson in the purple. It looks like. Uh, Duca next to them. Jefferson, though, looks like they're going to get the win here. Battle for fourth and third. I believe that might be, it may have been the new state record there. 52 27 by Jefferson County. Paducah, 53-23. So 52-31 is gone. No longer the state record. 52-27 by Jefferson County Traditional. Paducah edging out Barrett by a little under a quarter second. And an exciting girls 4x100 relay. And we're going to take you to the second heat in just a few minutes. All right, the second heat of the girls, 4 by 100 meter relay, uh, going to be going off in just a minute as they set up the blocks. In this heat, we got North Oldham, Ramsey, uh, Kammerer, Crosby, Bryan Station, Farnsley, Model, East Jessman, and Verity. All out there, we had an exciting girls, 4 by 100 previously, a new state record by Jefferson County, 52-27. A lot of teams in the 53 second range, so it's looking like a, maybe like a 53 seconds to score points here. See if any of these girls in this heat can do this. They've been called to the marks, ready to go. You're watching KRCC Sports on krcc-tv.com. This is the KTCCCA Middle School State Track and Field Meet here at Louisville, Kentucky. We are watching the girls 4 by 100 meter relay. This is the second heat. And they've been called back up for the second time. It's looking like one of the girls is uh, wobbling up and down a couple times. You need to be at a complete standstill. It looks like they've taken, uh, I believe, East Jessamine out, if I'm not mistaken, in the green. May, you just didn't like how she was wobbling there. Needs to be completely still to start the race. No movement at all. And they're off. A clean start. Here we are at the first exchange. Solid exchanges there. Let's see if some of these girls can get in the 53 seconds to score some points here. Here we are at the second exchange. And they're at about 27 seconds. Not to have some uh, pretty fast uh, final two legs to score some points here. The final exchange, it looks clean. Lane four and five battling it out. It looks like four's got the advantage. I believe that's Crosby. To be close, close one there. Both teams went sub 55 there, I believe. 
The 54-35 and 54-38 for Crosby and Brian Station there in the second heat of the girls 4 by 100 meter relay. Alright, third heat of the girls 4 by 100 meter relay. 52-27 to win the first heat. 53-35 to win the, uh, or 54 rather, to uh, win the second heat. And they're off. Solid start out of that second lane there. Second lane, uh, I believe that's Holy Trinity. We got Georgetown, uh, Holy Trinity, Mercer County, Turkeyfoot, Myers, Bate, Cottle, uh, Ferristown, and Beechwood. Here we are at the second exchange, coming through in about 28 seconds. Looking fairly even here on the uh, girls' 4x1. Rough exchange there in second lane, though. Looking like in lane 8. For the win in about 55 seconds. 55-51 for Beechwood and Bait coming in at 56-26 to finish up the third heat of the girls 4x100 meter relay.